the good thing about cooking for yourself is you can eat it directly from your baking dish so you don't have to wash another dish so that's a win-win situation yay but never mind oh but it turned out so goldeny crusty and yummy for tummy i can't wait to plate that dish it and have it but before we proceed don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you okay so today i'm going to make some lasagna noodles um just in a very small baking pan this is my baking pan which i usually use it to make bread but um since i'm just making it for myself one person for the dinner i decided to make it in a very small portion and use the small little baking pan which i use it for baking bread so the lasagna noodles that i'm using is this one um it's quite big for this tray but i really don't care i'm going to just break it a little bit on the side and um use it so what i've done is i am not going to boil this lasagna noodles separately you don't have to boil it separately you can just take hot water and uh, i use the hot water for my tap uh dip it in the water for some time and then i am just going to break a little bit from the side uh, i really yeah so what i have noticed is if you try breaking the lasagna noodles uh, when it's totally dry you will end up getting bits like this you won't be able to break it like a big piece unless you are really skilled at it so uh, my suggestion would be just dip it in water for some time and when the sides pick up a little, little soft try breaking it so that uh, you don't struggle with breaking uh, I'll show you one more dip it in water keep it for some time I'm just dipping both the sides keep it for some time and then break the side like this so that was smooth one more dip it for some time uh, just few seconds and then just break it on the side it's not really um, the best but you are going to eat it not for the guests so I don't care it's up to you and then I am going to make this lasagna noodles with a tuna fillet I'm using one fillet for my um, so in order to make the tuna fish, I'm using one tablespoon of the chicken tandoori masala. So it's not for the fish, but uh, you can also use it for, uh, it's a chicken tandoori masala, not really for the fish, but I really don't mind. I use it also for the fish. So I'm just using this uh, chicken tandoori masala. You can use any brand chicken tandoori masala that you like. I just happen to have this brand and I'm using it. Uh, so I'm going to mix one tablespoon of tandoori masala with um, one and a half teaspoon of uh, yogurt. Just mix it well and make it a good paste. Um, mix, mix, mix. It has to be a good paste. Uh, it really smells well. And I am also going to add a teaspoon of chili powder and a little bit of salt and pepper to this mixture. I so I added a little bit of ginger uh, ginger paste and I added, since I didn't have a garlic paste, I added garlic powder, pepper, red chili powder, uh, just a teaspoon. You can add it as per your taste. And I also added a pinch of, um, what's this called, a pinch of turmeric just for the taste. We usually don't add turmeric but I just added it because I just want to have it with my fish. And I also added a little bit of lime juice. So everything you add it as per your taste. So this mixture looks good. Now I am going to just add my tuna fish fillet. Marinate the tuna fish fillet. Spread it all over. Marinate it nicely. Did you know you can bake a fish in the microwave in just three minutes? Now three minutes is for my microwave that I have. Some microwave it can take two minutes depending on the power you have set in your microwave but for my it just takes three minutes, three to four minutes and the fish is done. Yeah I can have my fish in just three minutes. Marinate this, pop it into the microwave and it's done in three minutes. Can you just believe it? If I bake it it will take at least 10 minutes but microwave is so quick um, but it's not a healthy way 
it's not the best way it's not healthy if you're running out of time whenever i'm running out of time i just microwave my fish now i'm also going to add some veggies to my lasagna noodles i have taken one potato one carrot and a little bit of spinach not much and i'm not going to overcook it or cook it completely i'm just going to fry a little bit so that it's not uh, undercooked when i add it in my lasagna noodles The noodles that I had dipped in hot water has now softened as you can see and I didn't have to boil at all. It looks like I have boiled but no I didn't boil at all. Now my veggies have partially roasted, the carrots have almost roasted, the spinach has almost roasted, the potato has partially roasted. We can still eat the potatoes the way it's roasted but it, it still has a raw taste so I'll not eat it like this but I have eaten it like that because I was hungry but not advisable. Now it's good to go. So my fish is finally cooked. It took me 3 minutes to microwave my fish. But I thought my fish wasn't cooked in 3 minutes. So I went ahead and microwaved it for another 2 minutes. Which gave me a golden crusted plate. And I really didn't want a golden crusted plate. But that's fine. It didn't burn my fish. So I'm glad about that. But the amount of time required to microwave a fish really depends on the power of your microwave. So if the power of your microwave is more, it will take you less time to cook your fish. If the power of your microwave is less, it will take you more time to cook your fish. So I wouldn't advise you to right away microwave your fish for 5 minutes. Instead, take baby step. Microwave it for 2 minutes. Check if it's cooked. If it's not cooked, microwave it for another minute or two and just take baby steps don't take big steps take baby steps and uh, microwave it little by little and keep checking next shred your tuna fish into small pieces and mix it with greens i happen to have carrot and spinach in my pantry so i used carrot and spinach but if you don't have carrot and spinach please don't worry about it use any greens that's available in your pantry and if you don't want to use greens and only if you want to make fish lasagna noodles please go for it just make sure you use four or five uh, fillets depending on the amount quantity of lasagna noodles that you're making uh, but i must tell you that tandoori chicken masala took my fish to another level it tasted so good but if you don't have tandoori chicken masala don't worry about it just use any spice that you use to generally cook your fish i know some people use salt and pepper to make their fish if you use salt and pepper please go for it uh, it doesn't really matter it does matter a little bit but not a whole lot, lot of difference because ultimately it's going to get mixed up with other spices and other ingredients and the taste is anyway going to change but yeah it does make a little bit of difference but not huge lot, huge lot but not a lot of difference uh, so uh, but it's not difficult to find tandoori chicken masala you can find it in any grocery indian grocery store just walk into a gro indian grocery store ask anyone ask someone and they'll show it to you you buy it get it try it cook it and it's that simple i also added some cream cheese to this mixture the cream cheese oh my god it just tasted like the tuna fish sandwich that i generally have in subface um yeah now i know how they make that so i just say i added next grease your pan with either butter melted butter or olive oil i used olive oil to grease my pan you can literally use any oil to grease your pan doesn't matter sorry for some reason the video got deleted so i greased my pan with olive oil and then spread some pasta sauce which is flavored with garlic and onion i like the pepper one but i didn't have the pepper one so i used what i had it's totally up to you what pasta sauce you want to use it's up to your taste buds so don't worry if you don't have the one that i'm using then i spread my lasagna noodles one by one and then my stuffing and then spread some shredded cheese the cheese that i'm using is mexican blend cheese it's a blend of my cheddar monterey jack queso quesadilla and acidero it's up to you what cheese you want to use i also use parmesan cheese sometimes i know people use ricotta cheese it's it's totally up to you if you have the ricotta cheese or if you have the parmesan cheese or if you love some other cheese please go for it i just happen to have this in my pantry so i'm using it 
the amount of cheese you want to use is totally up to you i love cheese so i'm spreading it liberally it doesn't really matter it totally depends on how much cheese you like and you want to use it okay so now this is good for me now i'm going to again spread another layer So I have uh, added a little bit of pepper on this um, as I'm a huge fan of pepper I decided to go ahead and add some sprinkle some pepper so as you can see I am out of my filling tuna fish filling still I have my potatoes left so that's a good thing I'm going to use my potatoes now so this is one side tuna fish fish filling and the other side is my potato filling what an interesting combination but this is how my filling looks of my second layer, one side potato and the other side my tuna fish filling. Now I'm going to sprinkle some cheese liberally on this. Again, the amount of cheese you want to sprinkle is totally up to you. Now this is all set to go into the oven. I am going to bake it for 350 degrees for 20 minutes and see how it comes out. Now I'm finally introducing you to my tuna fresh lasagna noodles. It is so golden, crusty, looks yummy for tummy. Can't wait to have it, can't wait to plate it, can't wait to dish it. Now this is another bite with the potato in it. Can't wait to bite it. Heavenly. I've tried so many different combinations of lasagna noodles. I've made it with cream cheese, spinach, uh, chicken, turkey, but this combination was the best. Heavenly. You must try it. You must try it to believe it. Now, if you try it, don't forget to comment or share your pictures and let me know how it turns out. I would love to hear your experience with my recipe. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel if you have not done already and hit the bell icon so that you get to know whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching my video and have a lovely day. I can't wait to see your comments and let me know. Don't forget. Bye.